ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਬ੍ਰਹਮਾ ਆਨੰਦ ਵਿਸ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟ ਮੈਨੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਮਾਈ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਫਾਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਮੈਨੀ ਰੂਲਸ ਮਾਈਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਕਮ ਆਨੰਦ ਮੀਨਸ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਸਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਿਲਟੀ ਸਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇ you need to tell truth why are you doing like this why is that person is doing like that he is telling it's not telling the truth so i will not make him happy i will not i will be not happy i'll i'll fight for truth some people say that some people say injustice is there okay so i cannot be happy i cannot be blissful i will not make others not to be blissful so like it's many many things a society is so many reasons not to be blissful society says many things earth has many rules many more things are there so again anandam takes high priority that's the reason here anandam brahma they say keeping that in our mind in our own being we need to abide the rules law abiding citizen abide we are following the laws laws of the world laws of the country especially every country has its own laws if you do not follow there is a punishment is there so we are following laws are mandatory apart from the laws from from the government side and from the country side in the country there are also laws but in few the few rules and laws are there in the family are there in the society such as rules and laws are there in the earth and in the universe also that the rules and laws are there again wherever you break any law there is certain punishment is the automatically punishment at some some other that you benefit or you will be getting if you are following if you are not breaking if you are not following certain backlog certain pulling and pushing is always there now in keeping that in our back in our mind again we need to see all ananda brahma means are we giving highest priority to blissfulness from morning to evening we need to maintain a smile in our face in our being that is called ananda brahma concept once one person asked buddha why because you are so much great enlightened person why everyone in the village is not becoming enlightened because of your mere presence everybody should get enlightened you got your sadhana is that that great you are such a enlightened person that all the people should enlighten get enlightened why are they not getting enlightened buddha asks that person go and take the top 10 list of the desires what they whatever they need in the village from the village in the village and the people are there everybody everybody he go he went and asked top 10 desires of the each and every 100 people and after the coming up with the list buddha asked how many people are having the enlightenment wish or desire in the top 10 list that matters 
So enlightenment is being blissful always. There is a truth. Being connected with the ultimate bliss all the time is called ultimate enlightenment, highest enlightenment. So enlightenment is being blissful. Highest enlightenment is being ultimate blissful. Connecting with the ultimate bliss all the time. So let us connect with the bliss and the ultimate bliss for the one minute. Bye. Oh. Three. Two. One. Zero. Good. Maya as ups and downs. Happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness, happiness. One of the two sides is happening. Up and down. Happiness, how much ever happy, that much ever sadness is there. You bought something, some item, some impermanent thing, cell phone or new TV or new car, gadget. I think certain happiness is there when it's broken or something has happened to that. Same amount of sadness is not existing. Not anything more. Same moment of sadness is there. When somebody appreciated how much ever you got happy. Somebody spoiled at you. That much of unhappiness. Not more than that. Exactly. So all Maya means happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness. Up and down. There's this. Dvandhatva frequency. So, Sthita Pragna, the enlightened person, means he is, it is said that in the scriptures, he is not happy when the happiness is there, he is not shaken, oral. When the sadness came, he is also stable. Both the situations, he is stable. Then I used to think, why? Why is it like that? Why is this like that? One should be happy when the happy situation comes. One should not be sad when the sad situation comes. That's what I used to think. Why is why one should not why should be stay why one should be stable when the happiness came comes also? He can dance also. So continuous dance is enlightenment frequency. So continuous happiness is Enlightened frequency. Happiness multiplied by minimum thousand times is bliss. Happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness. Multiply, happiness multiplied by at least thousand times. It's called bliss. That much, if one person is blissful, happiness, sadness, this frequency is lower frequency. Is above beyond that highest happiness. These are not affecting the impermanent things, are not affecting him. Maya is having such a low frequency, is above, above that, that he's raised beyond the Maya frequency, that is enlightened frequency. <laughs> he's not getting happy anymore from the external worldly things because he found the happiness from his own his own nature his own soul his own inner self the soul has the characteristic Satchidananda Sat means continuous permanent 
consciousness and anandam, which is having anandam, blissfulness. He realized the bliss inside himself. For the bliss, he did not depend on any other things. It is called nicha, nicha, vichakshana, right wisdom, discrimination of the wisdom. What, what is permanent and what is impermanent? If you are getting happiness from the permanent thing, if you are getting blissfulness from the permanent thing, then that is permanent. If you are getting deriving happiness from the impermanent thing, that's where you need to be aware and alert. Shankaracharya said, Adikin, Shankaracharya said, one needs to be very careful. If anybody is deriving his their happiness from impermanent things, then they they bound to they they're bound to be suffering. So enlightened person started deriving their blissfulness, happiness from within soul or from the whole the bliss outer extra ultimate bliss externally everywhere externally internally both together everywhere the bliss is there that's called ultimate bliss. One such technique. Simple technique. For Buddha Kesha practitioners, it will work. This technique will work. Inhale, receive all the cosmic energy from the, all the universes. And exhale, share, expand the energy of your consciousness to the whole universe. With exhalation. And again, inhale. Receive all the cosmic energy from all the universes. Exhale, share, and expand to the whole universe, all the universes, and multi dimensional nature. One more time, inhale. Receive. Exhale, share. Then, once we do this for a few minutes, then we realize, ha, ha, ha. no need to receive the energy, no need to expand the energy. We all became the one. Automatically, while hearing also, the energy is coming through inside us and it's going to the universe. While exhaling also coming inside the inside us, universe, everything is. It is happening naturally. Energy is moving naturally. We realize that. How oh, the blood circulation is moving inside our body naturally from top to bottom. So everywhere, in, our, in every cell of our, our body. In the same way, blood circulation is evenly, amazingly moving. In the same way. Everywhere in the universe, the energy is moving. And distributing it. We understand that. We realize that we feel we are the one with the whole, we are the one with the oneness. Understand, we feel that everything is connected. Oneness feeling we are, will be in. Oneness is the ultimate wisdom. Maya means separation. Duality. Wherever Maya is there, there, how to test that you are in Maya? There, the, whenever sadness is there, that means that we are in Maya. Dukkam. So, Dukkha, Dukkha, sadness is there everywhere in the earth, usually. How to come out of the sadness? Dukkham, how to come out of Dukkha is with the wisdom. What wisdom? Oneness wisdom. Oneness is the wisdom, Ammagnanam. We are all connected, we are all one. It's called wisdom. Living with the wisdom, ultimate wisdom, living with the oneness is the summary of all spirituality. Whenever we live with the oneness, 
the ultimate bliss. Ultimate wisdom is called oneness. Their ultimate wisdom is connected to ultimate bliss. <laughs> So we are all connected with every breath. We are realizing and living our oneness and we are living with the ultimate wisdom. And we are aware of the Maya very clearly in the day-to-day -day life. Whenever anybody is sad because of anything, traffic is more. Or this road is like this. That person is saying like that. That person should not have done like that. I didn't like it. The moment anybody says that, they're losing the energy. They're in the. They're sad. Maya is. Maya means manas is coming from the attached to the manas mind, and it has certain characteristics tendencies to make us sad, lose our energies. <clears throat> Maya always, from morning to evening, it is striving best, doing its best to take us down from the oneness state. From the oneness state, this ultimate blissful state, we are, we are there. Maya is always trying to do its own tricks cunningly. Or some other, some other other tricks. One needs to be very, very careful. It comes with the negative words from within our mind, or from the buying the negative words from other people, accepting the negative words from the other people, or from within. We will be born to the Maya, and we will be fallen to the Maya. Unless is this one, unless is ultimate bliss. Bliss is next level. Next, little bit down is bliss, little bit down is awareness for meditative state. Little bit bliss is a, a fraction of one person. This is also for awareness, happiness, and, and happiness and sadness. Are, Maya is below that. When you're happy, you're aware, that's called meditative state. You're in the sphere, you're enjoying. And more and more happiness is called bliss, more and more bliss to the whole universal level, the ultimate bliss. So at least if you're a little bit happy and you're observing it with awareness, that's the meditative state. We can continue the mindfulness or meditative state in the day in the day to day life. That is good to start with. Oneness is ultimate. Live with the oneness all, all the time. That is where we need to, one needs to do the continue the Gurakesha at least until achieving the ultimate bliss all the time, 24 hours. Because bliss and ultimate bliss are the Real seva to the whole universe. Real seva. That's a giving back. One need, one has a real responsibility of greater, greater responsibility towards the whole universe is to live with the bliss and to live with the ultimate bliss. It can be practiced intentionally. The more meditation we do, we, we can connect to that. Each and every cell in our body is dancing with joy. It's bliss. It's called bliss. When we understand the bliss of the every cell in the whole of the whole universe is called ultimate bliss. So we might be having many desires, many things we want, humans. Are we also having the desire to be in the ultimate bliss? A desire without an attachment.
So every day morning to evening, I'll be trying to be with this desire. Many desires are, are many things are over, over, overlapping and overriding this desire, is suppressing this one or this is, we are keeping this one as ultimate priority, some kind of determination or the desires or a feeling to connect with the ultimate a feeling to give our best service to the whole universe. Are we every time trying to be in the oneness or not? That is one of the important sadhana clearly mentioned in the Vasistha Gita. Brahma, Bhavana, connecting with the whole and seeing everything is God. One, one with everything, being the, with the one with everything. So Brahma Bhavana, from morning to evening. Maintaining the meditative state is just, if you are a little bit happy and aware, least, then meditative state is happening. Inside your body, a little bit consciously you are moving your hand happily. Inside your body, if you can maintain the awareness, that's called that's an idea to state you're already in. That's a good to start. So ultimate is connecting with the energies of the whole cosmos. And living with that is called ultimate bliss. So let's all live with the bliss and ultimate bliss. It is a need of the hour. Universe is a payback to the universe, it's a great service to the universe. What our nation gave us, it's time to give back to the nation and give back to the Mother Nature. Give back to the time to give back to the whole universe and beyond. By ble being blissful, the nature feels divine. Nature feels happy to see a blissful person. Always a mother wants their ch children to be happy. Mother is more happy when the when, they, when her children are happy. And let us keep our mother happy always. <laughs> One minute meditation. Five. Four. Three. One zero. Doing yesterday. Fine. Four. Three, two, one, zero. So, what what helps to continue being in the blissful state is the awareness of awareness towards the Maya, awareness towards the sadness of our own sadness and sadness of the others, we can see others are bit sad because of many reasons. They say many reasons. Because of this reason, I'm not happy. Because of that reason, I'm not happy. Everybody is telling that. Aren't we also giving one reason, at least one reason to not to be happy? 
check yourself for morning to evening. Remove that last reason. <laughs> one reason, because if I have this one, if I don't have this one, only one thing is bothering me. That's what they say. Because of this one thing, I'm not happy. So remove, enlightened presence removes that one. One reason also, not to be happy. Think. Keep all the reasons to be blissful and happy. The last reason, only one problem is bothering. That one last one problem is very important. Enlightened persons knows that even though the body has certain ailments, health issues, it could have, that's okay. I accept them. Even though mind has certain few things, that's okay. I am the one. Body and mind are changing, evolving, and many things are happening. But I am the one with the whole blissfulness. My bliss is not reducing. Realization of that enlightenment. So, living with bliss, joy, and bliss, and ultimate bliss is ultimate, friends. <laughs> it is possible by identifying wherever the sadness is there, wherever the Maya is there, and coming and connecting with the whole cosmos, a small tiny, tiny meditation, 10 seconds, one, one minute meditation, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, 10 seconds meditation, if you are, whatever we are doing, any work, with openness, just observing the breath. And all night sadhana, Buddha Krishna sadhana, the consciousness increases. And so, so with this, it's possible to live that like that. And I call for everyone to be in the ultimate bliss all the time. So wake up call to everyone. A shake up call to everyone. Shake it. Just all wake up, awaken towards this ultimate bliss. Anandu, Namma. Anandu, Namma. Let's all do our best. Be blissful all the time and share our concept to everyone. So that the contribution also helps us with good karma and definitely we will be stabilized in that. It is for initially one minute, half an hour, one hour. We will be in bliss initially, two hours, three hours, one day, two days, three days. It spreads across our life once it is, once we reach three, uh, three months continuously in a row in the blissful state. Then it is stabilized, it is digested in each and every cell in our body and in the whole universe, then it will continue, the state will continue. Sada Brahman and the Stati, always ultimate, always in the ultimate bliss state that will be permanent. Okay, with this, we'll do one minute meditation. Uh, oh. Three, two, one. Zero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, friends. Thank you.